We have something very exciting coming this week, but we have to do a little prep work for it first. I'm really happy about it. Snack, because we just finished working out. Post-workout snack. Yep. Pistachios. Local. And a cutie. See what I, she wasn't paying. She wasn't Aww, paying attention. Thank you. <laughs> she wasn't, she so missed that. He's still, he's still nice. I was focusing on my cutie feeling. Okay. Let's get to work. Why are we in the workroom? Because this is where my washing machine is going and it's coming in four days. Where are we putting it? Somewhere in this general vicinity, under the workbench. We made sure to get a smaller, shorter, washing machine, high efficiency, spin dry really, really quick so that we can then hang everything to dry. Um, thought about getting a combo washer dryer, but didn't love the reviews. And I wanna be able to wash our king size sheets all in one go. Um, and hang drying in our office garage area is awesome because it provides, it actually provides, a, it cools it down. It's like having a swamp cooler or something like that in the garage. So Steve loves it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our washing machine. Luckily, the guy who built this house actually roughed in for a washing machine, which we did not know. On the other side of this wall is the kitchen sink, but here's our vent for the sewer going up to the roof. There is the sewer drain going down. And right here is a lovely capped area where we can put our P-trap for our standpipe for our drain for our washing machine. And then right next to it, we have capped off hot and cold water. So what we need to do today is clip these and put the faucets on that we can then connect our washing machine hoses to. Clip this, put our install our P-trap and our standpipe, and then we'll be good to go because we already did one step of this process up here. The only other thing we need for the washing machine besides water and drain is power. And Steve put in this handy dandy box the other day. So we should be good to go. I'm so excited. No more hand washing king size sheets. The issue is it's gonna run right into the hot water. Why does it just be in front of the hot water? Maybe we install this first and then we yeah, let's try that. Figure out the hot water. This we can just cut too, because it's just the drain. We have to turn off the water for those. did our standpipe for our drain. We now have constructed our PEX. This is half inch PEX into three quarter inch for the faucet for the washing machine. So now what we need to do is shut off the water, drain the lines, and then connect these suckers right there and then test them. And then we're good to go. Wouldn't it be funny if we forgot to shut off the water? No. What's nice is that we could do it from right here though, because our water system is right here. That is true. We just close. That guy. And this one's already closed. Yep. In fact, there we go. Wow, that was way too easy. <laughs> well, now we have to go drain the lines. So I'm going to do that in the kitchen. And that's it. Well, that didn't take long. Nope. There might, there's probably still going to be some water in the lines, there but, but uh, of course, never waste water. <laughs> A little bit, not bad, not bad. Ready? Next up is a test for leaks. Oh, 
leaking. Where? Right there. Uh, Which unfortunately, oop, and here. No, maybe that's not here. I think that's just yeah, it's just above. running down. Yeah. Unfortunately, that means you get to try to tighten that, which means probably taking this out. Did this, this one look one... fine? No, it leaked. Looks too. like there's a bead right there. Yeah, so they both need to be tightened. More. Most YouTube channels would just gloss over this, fix it, like it, like it worked the first time. Everything's cool. You're the smartest person ever. We're not very smart. This is not what we do for a living. We had to take all this apart because it was leaking water. And I'm just going to tighten it more and hope that it works the second time without a leak. Sometimes this happens. That's what makes home improvements so fun. <laughs> and if we had just, so we have these shark bite things, but we didn't get the little tool to remove them, which would have been the easiest thing alive. But so yes. instead we have to take the clamp off. These shark bite fittings make it really easy if you have the tool to just pop that off and, we and then this would have still been down there all secure. We mm -hmm. would have had to, but you can take it off without the tool apparently, but we could not figure out the special trick with the wrench. So oh well. we tried, we failed. Yep. So we put this back on and we're going to test the hot real quick. We have not fixed the cold yet. <laughs> it's all open. Oh crap. <laughs> <gasps> we tested that the first time to make sure they were closed. This is why we can't have nice things, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Oh, at least it's a really quick turn off. We forgot to turn off the... Yeah, you, you saw it. Oh I swear we did not plan that. We're just we're Comedy just good like errors. that. My gosh. Yeah, it would have no. been it would have been funnier if it were facing you. Yeah, that would have been funnier. <laughs> it would have gone whoo hot at the camera and you. No, that wouldn't have been funnier at all. All right, okay. let's try this again. Watch it. So it was leaking from here before. Let's feel the pipe. Is it all wet? Let's do it over here. So we don't want to do it for too much longer. I think this is good. I think this side's fixed. Okay, well that's off. Good, okay. Let me go and drain the water and then we can do this one. <sighs> For This Is A Stream In Life, we teach you what not to do with home renovations. It's not wet to me. Okay. Down here feels damp, but that just may be from before. Definitely. Well, it was a harrowing experience, but I think we have everything set up. So the idea is the washer is going to be right there. So on the other side of this piece of wood right here, and then it's going to connect the drain is going to connect here, which will come down into this P trap and then out and then down. We have our cold water hookup from what the previous owner had already put in. We have our hot water hookup from what our previous owner had already put in and we're running both up like this. So we'll just bring them over and connect into here. Yep. And these are going to go over. Yes, we will secure these in place with clamps. Yep, like this. Cool. Next step, washing machine. We'll show you that. And one of the nice things I like about this space is we have the garage door that we can open up and bring in whatever we need to bring in. Like, for example, the washer. I want to see my washer. Never in my life did I think I'd be this excited for a washing machine. <laughs> All right. Yep, it was a very easy install. Looks like they just fed the pipe right in here with a little tie hooked up. This we're still going to secure up yeah. here so it won't just be Actually, hanging. Should do that. Uh, but yeah, this is looking good. I'm doing laundry today. Yes, you are. And if anybody wants to know, this is a... Electrolux. Electrolux, this is not a combo. No, so 
this space is actually quite small and the combos that I was looking at that had the best reviews were about twice the price of this one and two wouldn't actually fit under here. We were going to have to put them over there. So decided to go with a larger washing capacity and just get a washing machine that is very high efficient and super spins the clothes if you want it to so that they'll come out pretty dry. And then we're going to hang dry in the office, which actually works as a like cooler for Steve. So Evap win, cooler. win, 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 win. Woot. So this is if you're using the liquid. If you're using the solid, I think you just put it in there because it says to have it. I'm trying to understand this writing. <laughs> A normal. Do we want it warm? Max spin. I think that looks good. Let's try it. I just heard the door lock. Mm hmm. And spinning. It's using almost nothing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oops. Yeah, looking right. good. They're going to dry pretty quick. Mm. Well, I guess that's it for this video. We're happy. So You're happy. you are especially happy. I'm ecstatic. I don't have to do laundry in tubs in the bathtub anymore. And we weren't complete morons back there with all the setup. No, we did it well and everything works. And... Not complete, not complete no. morons. No. We no. shot water out of the thing because I forgot <laughs> to turn it off, but But it all works. And we bought a washer that fits in the space, hooks up the way we thought it would used so little power. In fact, I think Steve said even on the high spin, max spin, it was only up to our reader was like 0.4. And that includes the entire house, not just Which is normally like 1.5 the house. So that's like 2.5 uh, kilowatts of power, which is like nothing. Uh, and I think maybe six gallons of water, maybe. I think you chose well. I think you chose well. So happy. I think you chose well. Okay, wave bye to everybody. Bye guys. See you next time. I don't know what we're doing. We might look, well, our clothes might look cleaner next time to see us. <laughs>